Hi, I'm Dr. Mariko Kita, and I'm a neurologist specializing in the care of patients with multiple sclerosis. One in every 20 Americans suffers from an autoimmune disease such as type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, or multiple sclerosis, just to name a few. And since the causes of autoimmune diseases are connected, so is the way we're fighting them. Our discoveries are having significant impact on people living with autoimmune diseases today, like Molly Jo McGuire, whom you're about to meet. Our research helps us to predict disease risk, determine prognosis, halt progression of these diseases, and make treatment safer and better. I'm Molly Jo McGuire. I'm 40 years old, and I'm married to Gary Wachanski. We have three kids. My oldest is Ivy Jane, she's four, and I have boy-girl twins who are three, Alice and Elliot, and uh, we live here in Seattle. Every free moment I have is figuring out a project for the kids or rethinking something about the house for the kids or cooking. I was in my early 30s. My mom had just been diagnosed three months before, so we, I was very familiar with, with what the symptoms were. I, I was really well read on it. Also, my husband's sister has MS. So. It was just a very familiar territory for us. So I originally, I had a tingly arm and I was extremely tired, but um, three months later, uh, I had official diagnosis that yeah, it was MS. I have been uh, made aware that there are indicators when you are first diagnosed um, that can kind of tell you what it might look like further down the road, um, exacerbations of your original symptoms. So if you have fatigue, your fatigue might get worse. At first it was, uh, before even denial, I was completely panicked because I just, I didn't know how my disease would progress. And you know, I wasn't even 40 and I kept thinking, oh, within a year I'm gonna be unable to walk, I'm not gonna be able to work, I'm not gonna be able to have children. I just, there were so many unknowns at, at the beginning that the fear was, was pretty paralyzing, not physically, just mentally. My husband travels often for work, so I, I will have three kids at home and I have a difficult time getting out of bed occasionally, you know, and then you don't really have a choice when you've got three kids. They get up when they get up, they need what they need, and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real battle on those days. The fact that he and I, my husband and I both have MS is terrifying. And it's something that I would say we don't address daily because we can't. It's just too scary to think of both of us becoming incapacitated. Um, fortunately, at this point, we are well and we are taking good care of ourselves and we're focusing on that for now. Yes, I am in a clinical trial uh, uh, that Ben Arroyo Research is handling and I've been on that for about a year and a half. It's an oral medication and uh, that's a daily pill that I take in the morning, and um, so far, so good. I was a little concerned about joining a trial in the first place, because they're just unknowns, and then thinking about the scope of my family and all the people affected by MS, you know, it, it's just nice to know that I could help in a small way to contribute to the research. I would tell someone who was recently diagnosed that it's gonna be okay, and it will. People call me as the person who knows about MS, and I'm delighted to get the call because I feel like that initial devastation doesn't have to be a long period. I mean, of course you're going to feel terrible when you get that news, but I would just want them to know that there are resources and that they will be okay. I want to be able to see my kids grow. I want to see them become happy, and I want to be fully a part of their lives, and I don't want them to be afflicted with this disease. So of course, a cure for this would be something amazing to see so that I don't have to worry about them going through this as well. I hope we find a cure in my lifetime. I think it's possible, I think it's possible. Molly Jo inspires all those around her and taking part in the care of amazing individuals such as Molly Jo motivates us to move forward with the important work to understand and ultimately eradicate diseases like multiple sclerosis. We are on the path to a cure for MS. Our work is resulting in understanding how these diseases are similar and how they are different. At BRI, we know that progress against one autoimmune disease is progress against them all. And so, at BRI, we say bring it on.